Really quick, fellas, before this video starts, two things. This Friday is Kusa Stream Friday, so that means you can come stream snipe and win Kusa for free for your entire team. All of you guys kind of know about this. You guys just didn't know when. So when? This Friday, which I believe August 5th or something like that. Whatever the Friday is coming up. Second thing, I'm hosting a Q&A, so if you guys want me to answer your questions on video this Saturday, there's a link in the description where... In that video, you can just leave your comments and I'll reply to them. So if you want your questions to be answered or whatever, put them down there and I'll answer them. Alright, let's get on with this. BB-8, BB-9 as the final heroes in this game was probably, I think, the second worst decision the the Battlefront devs, or not Battlefront devs, the Disney team, I guess, or whoever is above the devs did. I think that's the second worst decision they've ever done. You're wondering what the first one was? I don't think it was that bad of a decision, but overall bad, it's the loot boxes, okay? Let's just get that out of the way. So the fact that this comes that close is really bad. Imagine leaving the game. You're gonna leave it forever, okay? There's no more coming back. The game's gonna be in the state forever. People are gonna remember you like this forever. And you're like, you know what? We're gonna put such a great image, boys. We're gonna leave them with the best freaking heroes and villain ever, dude. BBA and BB9, dude. I bet the guy who d had that idea got the biggest race from Disney. They were probably so freaking proud. What the hell, boys? Seriously. I'm... Ah. Uh, just... Uh, it's so dumb. Why couldn't they just put Ahsoka and Ventress? They were literally into work. The thing that really, really sucked is that the developers who worked in this game these guys are literal Star Wars fans. It's their dreams to work into this. Some people... Their dreams is to become a Star Wars actor or something like that. Their dreams, those kids, uh, as kids, were to do something like this. Work on a Star Wars project. Make that video game they've always wanted as a kid. This is their, what their dream. And their Star Wars fans are just like us. So for them, Ahsoka is just as big of a character as it is for you and me. And so, so on with Ventress, Anakin, Mace Windu and whatnot. But Disney don't think that way. So, or Disney slash Lucasfilms, this, I always get confused between the two. But whatever that team tells them, Disney slash, slash Lucasfilms, the developers have to comply with them. They're their bosses, the developers just do as they're told. Kind of like us at school, we do as our teachers tell us, even if we don't want to. So unfortunately, the last heroes and villains in this game happen to be BB-8 and BB-9. And it could have been Ahsoka and Ventress. Could you imagine if they were like, you know what? We're sorry, boys. We're going to end the game. Like, we're going to end updates. But before we end it, we're going to give you guys the heroes you've always wanted. Ahsoka and Ventress. We're sorry, fellas, but here you, here you go. Take your heroes. That would have been at least such a better ending. But instead, they're like, hey, you guys know what? We're going to give you those two sucker balls. Here you go. Have some fun. No! That's so dumb. Could you imagine if we had Ahsoka and Ventress? That would have been dope, man. Like, uh, the fact that there was voice lines and a bunch of leaks. And I feel like some of those leaks were on purpose from the devs to get us hyped. And then they gave us BBA and BB9. Biggest mistake from uh, uh, EA slash whoever really was in charge of that decision. And whoever was in charge of that decision, I know that I said that they probably got a raise, but I genuinely, genuinely hope they got fired, because they just fucked us over so bad. I'm sorry for the F-bomb, I didn't want to say it, but they really, really screwed us over. And that's really all I wanted to say. I believe this is Disney's biggest mistake, or whoever is in charge, man, I don't know exactly, but it's not the developers themselves, like I said, they do as they're told. So for example, the glitches in this game, the reason why they're not fixed and stuff, that's the developer's fault. That's not Disney's fault, they're not working on this game right but the de developers are also not responsible for not putting Ventress or something they do as they're told that if Disney tells them don't put Ventress or they're not gonna put Ventress remove Palpatine from the game well that's you know also their decision you gotta know who to blame and the developers are not the ones to blame for not putting Ahsoka and stuff if you really want to know an extra fun fact the developer slash manager or whatever Dennis Branville everybody knows him right be like I said, because they're all Star Wars fans, the people above were like, okay, we're going to release this game, but we're not going to put... They were talking about who were going to be the DLC heroes and stuff, because they have it planned out way before we even know about the DLCs. And apparently, Obi-Wan was not even supposed to be a hero. Like, he was not in the talks. And Dennis Branville went nuts, and he's like, we're not doing anything unless Obi-Wan is a DLC character. Can you imagine if this game finished without 
Obi-Wan. That's how nuts these guys are. We were gonna have Battlefront 2 without Obi-Wan. But because he's such a fan and because some of the people who work there are big fans, they can still try and manage to help us. Because Obi-Wan was an obvious, like, you can't say no to him, you know, like, obviously, how are you not gonna have Obi-Wan? They said yes. But that's not always gonna work. Dennis is, like, a big, big guy in the community and in the developers team, so him saying that was gonna go through and it made sense there was a lot of things backing it but f for Ahsoka and Ventress like it, it just really sucks okay and I believe this was the second worst decision they've ever done leaving this game with BB-8 and BB-9 thinking we're gonna be super happy it just gave them such a bad image sorry for the rant but I really had to peace